Hi, welcome back. This is the second video of a two-part video series, Three for Free Knitting Tips and Tricks. And it's specifically, we're creating a London beanie. The London beanie is a, a tight knit, not tightly knit, but a, a tight to the head cap that I've been making a lot of lately. Um, it's great for going out on a day when you've not yet taken your shower or whatever, that type of thing. Um, this particular project, um, we wanted to show you a total of three total techniques. One was, and this is where we left you off at the part, um, as part of the first video, is creating a in-the-round ribbing that doesn't have your, your entire band of knitting twisted when you join in the round. And the other is avoiding the join so that you have a nice, even row of knitting even where you've actually joined the the knitting to your uh to itself uh, to go into the round so we've showed you those two tricks and tips so far the third one being um actually making the rest of the beanie and all that really takes at this point now that we've gotten our nine rows of ribbing done in one by one or knit one pearl one ribbing is a total of 25 rows of in the round plain knitting stitch. So it's plain stockinette stitch when you're knitting in the round and you're knitting round and round for 25 rounds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, switch over all my needles now um, to US 8 needles in standard knitting. And then I'm going to take a pause and we'll come back when I've gotten my 25 rows of standard knitting done. And I'll show you the decrease part of it, which isn't very complex at all. But I can walk you through it if you've never done that before. Okay, now that we've got our 25 rows of plain knitting done, we're going to start with the decreases. Decreases are going to happen using the join of the double pointed needles um, to mark where the actual decreases go to form the shaping at the top of the hat. So if you've used any other method such as circular, two circular needles or magic loop to be able to make your hat up to this point, you may need to consider setting stitch markers at after every 20th row. So after 20, after 40, after 60, and between 80 and your first stitch. Um, because we're gonna use, since that's where our needles fall, since we have 20 stitches on each needle, that's how we're gonna do our decreases as well. So the decreases are basically going to look like this. I'm going to turn to the finish, a finished version of the hat to show you what it's going to look like first. Basically, every four row, four, um, every, I'm sorry, every other round from here where we start our decreases, every other round we're going to decrease one stitch at the beginning of the the double pointed needle and one stitch at the end and in such a way that we're going to do it four times and so we'll decrease one at the beginning of the needle and one at the end of the needle four times for a total of eight decreases in a round and then we're going to knit one round plain and then do another decrease of eight stitches one at the beginning and end of each needle and so on until we have 32 stitches left on the needle and you'll see what that's going to look like. Um, once we get down to 32 stitches, it slightly changes, but uh, we'll show you that as well, and we'll walk you through it. So going back to our actual knit, uh, knitting here, um, the first round of decreases is going to look basically like this. The first two stitches on the needle, on the first needle, we're going to knit two together. Then we're going to knit all the way to the end of the needle, the last two stitches of the needle, and now that we've gotten to the last two stitches on the first needle, we're going to do a left-leaning decrease or an SSK. And so we're going to slip that knitwise, slip the second one knitwise, then reinsert our needle into the front of those two stitches and knit those two together. So we're going to knit those two together. So we decreased it um, by knitting two together at the beginning of the needle, and we decreased um, by knitting two together with an SSK at the end of the needle. We're going to do that the same thing for all four needles. So we decreased two stitches on that needle, we'll decrease two on this one. So we'll knit two together, decrease one, knit to the last two stitches. Okay, we're at the last two stitches here. We're going to do an SSK or a slip slip knit. So we slip one knitwise, we slip the second one knitwise, insert our needle underneath those two stitches in the front and knit those two together. 
We're going to do the same thing for the last two needles. So we start by knitting two together. Knit 16 in this particular case to get to the last two stitches on the needle. And 16, and then the last two stitches we SSK again. And then we have one more needle to do that on. So the last needle we're going to knit two together. Last two stitches, and then we do our SSK. Slip, slip, knit. Now, so we've reduced stitches by eight in this round, going from a total of 80 down to 72 stitches. And whenever we have a decrease round, at least for the first six decrease rounds, we follow that up with a straight row of knitting with no decreasing. So now we're going to knit these 72 stitches just plain. So we're just going to go around all four needles with 18 stitches on each needle and knit them all plain until we've knit 72. Seventy-one, seventy-two. Great. Now we're just going to go ahead and repeat those two rows five more times. And so we're going to decrease five more times for a total of 40 stitches, bringing us down from 72 down to 32 stitches on the needles. Now I'm not going to make you watch me go through all that. Just be careful on the fifth time, you don't do the plain, uh, plain um, round of knitting after it. So just get to the place where you decrease down to 32 stitches. And um, we'll come back and show you the final decreasing after that. And we'll walk you through the whole process after that as well. Thanks. Okay, we've gotten to the place where we've decreased down to, to the place where we only have eight stitches on each needle or a total of 32 stitches. Normally, and that, I just did that e e decrease row, so it's not, I haven't done a knit plain row on top of it like I would have normally done to keep up with the pattern repeat of the two row decrease row. So instead, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to do eight decreases every round without a, a knit plain row in between. So, so basically all I'm going to do now at this point is do the same level of eight decreases per round, except without any plain knit row in between. So again, I'm going to knit two together at the beginning of each needle, knit to the last two stitches, which is a lot easier now that I've only got eight stitches on the needle, and now even less. And then I get to the last two, and I do an SSK. So I'm keeping up the same types of decreases when I when I go through that process. I'm just not doing a knit plain row in between. And so now I've got six stitches on that needle, and I'm going to bring this one from eight to the second needle from eight down to six as well. Two, three, four, five, and SSK brings us down to six. And the third needle, the same thing. Knit two together. Two, three, four, five. SSK brings it down to six. And the last needle, we're going to do the same thing. And so now we're down to, or we will be down to shortly, six stitches on each needle. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, great. So now we have 24 stitches. We're going to do the exact same thing again. No knit plain row in between. We're just going to go directly to decreasing two eight stitches every round. SSK brings us down to the fourth stitch on the last needle. Great. And now we have 16 stitches. We're going to do that one last time before we finish off the hat. So 
no knit plane increase or uh, knit plane round in between. So we're going to knit two together. And then we're going to SSK. Since there are no stitches before the last two stitches of the row anymore. See, it gets faster and faster. Now, normally I would use my my last needle to start knitting on this row, but I'm actually going to just use the existing one since I'm down to the last part. And so I'm going to knit two together at the beginning of this needle and SSK at the end of the needle. Then on the third needle, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, now it's the second needle, isn't it? Because I consolidated the first two needles. But at any rate, I'm going to knit two together. SSK. And then again, I'm going to use my current needle and consolidate them on two needles now. So I'm going to knit two together. That's not necessary. You could actually keep them on four needles using the fifth one as the one you knit with. I just find it a little bit more manageable when it goes to closing off the top part of your, your hat when you get to this place. And so now we've got a total of eight stitches. That's all the knitting that, that we're going to do. We're actually going to, at this point, just close up the top of the hat using a basting needle. So I'll be right back with that. Perfect. So now we have the end of the yarn, and we're actually just going to break off that, that end of the yarn. And I usually break off about, I don't know, about 20 inches. You could use less than that or more. It doesn't much matter. And I'm going to get out the sharpest darning needle I have. I have a few different darning needles. and This one seems to be the sharpest one with a big enough eye to put worsted weight through. And I'll show you why I'm using a slightly sharper needle if I can. It's not that important, but it helps a little bit when you're weaving in ends, I think. So I'm going to thread my basting needle with the end of the yarn that I just finished knitting with and broke off. And now you see the, the eight stitches that we have left on the tops of the needles. And the last stitch I knit was this one. That was the last decrease I did. And so I'm going to start with the next stitch and insert my needle into the four stitches, or you might have two on your needle, and pull that through. And I can actually take out my knitting needle while I do that. So I'm going to pull that through and tighten it up a little bit. You don't have to tighten it up fully. And then turn the hat around a little bit. And the last four stitches, I'm going to weave my basting needle into that. Again, take out the last needle. And so now here's what we have. The last eight stitches with my yarn threaded through them so that they can't drop or they can't run. And I'm just going to slowly snug it up as tightly as I can so that it's got that nice little pucker. Okay. Now just one last thing that I do to make sure that that pucker doesn't come undone is I actually go around at least one time weaving into the stitch underneath the final stitches in the row. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just try to get a little bit further down onto the hat. And here's why I do the this part is the reason I do a slightly sharper basting needle if I have it, because I can actually split the yarn. And I find split yarn when you're weaving in your ends holds your ends in a little bit more securely and tightly. And so then I'm going to snug it up one last time and put it through a couple more stitches on the top of the hat. And once I've woven it through and snug this up so that I'm pretty confident that the hat is as tight as I want it to be with the hole, I'm actually going to put my yarn through to the back or the inside of the hat. And here's my yarn still attached to the basting needle. And now I'm just going to weave in my ends. And that's it. That's the entire hat. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Please certainly feel free to subscribe to my um, channel, especially if you want to see any additional tutorials.